Welcome to another episode of the Heartland Author Podcast. I'm Aaron Apollo Camp. For today's episode, I had the honor of interviewing Kathy Otten. Kathy is a book coach and the author of multiple novels and short stories. I'm here with Kathy Otten, who is the author of multiple books and a book coach. Kathy, welcome to the Heartland Author Podcast. Hi, Aaron. Thanks for having me. Feel free to introduce yourself to our listeners. Hi. Well, um, my name is Kathy Otten, as Aaron has said, and I am a published romance author. I started out writing short stories all my life and um, got published in 2006. Started writing some novels, mixed it up, short stories, novels. Uh, people started asking me to review their manuscripts. I started doing that. And that sort of morphed into teaching online classes. And that started morphing into book coaching. And I do some freelance editing too. Now without spoiling too much of your books, what are each of your books about? Well, I have four novels out currently and a bunch of short stories, so they are mostly historical, American historical, from about the Civil War on through the Free Range Cowboy era, which was ended around 1890, 18, I'm not sure, I forget exactly how that ended. Um, <clears throat> it was about a 20 year period for those cowboys. Um, and the last short story I actually wrote was a World War I story, so it kind of varies a little bit. But they're all romances, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. Um, that's about it, I guess. They're romance historicals, American cowboys, Civil War, sort of thing. Now, are all of your books self-published, or all of your books traditionally published, or are some self-published and others traditionally published? Currently, they are all published traditionally through a small press. Um, there's several of them out there that are pretty good, and I've been published through them mostly since 2006. Now, as you've uh, written quite a few books, if you have a typical writing routine, what is that like? Chaos. I don't have a typical writing routine. <laughs> uh, it's like grab time when I can. I, like I said, I've got a bunch of things on my plate. I do manuscript evaluations for people. So if I have something going on there or if I'm doing some editing, I got that going on. Plus, I have a part-time job currently. I was working full-time up until last year. Um, so, it's I try, try, to write my own stuff in the morning and work on my own things. And in the afternoon, focus on the business end and other people's stuff. Try to. And then Saturday is usually kind of a catch-up day, plus laundry, mow grass, that sort of thing. So try to grab one day a week for myself, usually on Sunday. But otherwise, it's just kind of like, but if I get behind, then my own writing gets pushed aside in order to get other things done. So, now, is this job you referenced uh, uh, writing related or outside of uh, the writing and book industry? It's, it's outside of it. Um, I sub as a teacher's aide. Um, so it's kind of a hit and miss thing, you know, because they'll call me at six in the morning and say, can you come in today? So all my plans for that day kind of get pushed to the next day. So that's what I mean. It's kind of chaotic right now. I, you know, try to get in what I got to get in and highlight things that are priorities and try to focus on those first. So the novel I'm working on right now will have to you know, it kind of fits in where it can fit in. I don't know. It's chaotic. I don't have a set schedule. I try, but I don't have it. Do you plan on writing more books in the future? 
Oh yeah, I've probably got more ideas than I have time in the rest of my life to implement. <laughs> um, I'm working on a book right now, another novel, and I'm probably three quarters, I probably got another 20,000 words to work on. The rough draft is finished. <clears throat> it's just trying to make it readable from my crazy rough draft writing. And then, you know, then there's, I'll have to go through it again, and then probably again. So it's going to take a while for that one to come out, but that's my next project for my own project. So that would be novel number five. And then there's probably going to be another short story in there, and then another novel. <laughs> Just keep plugging away. There's, there's tons of ideas out there, or in my head anyway. As an author who has written both short stories and novels, do you prepare differently to write a short story compared to preparing to write a novel? Um, with a, I, I tend to be a pantser, so I tend to kind of like just go with it. And over the years, I've kind of melded it more into the plotter because uh, it keeps you more on track. So for a novel, I'll spend more time working out goals and character arcs and things like that on paper first. And for a short story, because I already know it's short and just usually only have one goal or one plot line, it, I can usually just write it. But I always have an ending kind of in mind, a vague ending. So for a short story, I'll probably just, you know, pants it just jump in but for a novel I've kind of gravitated into more uh, some of the hard work first you know plotting and character arcs that sort of thing yeah the reason why I asked you that question is because uh, I'm uh, writing quite a few uh, uh, books and fiction and nonfiction and poetry and uh, I tend to be a more of a pantser for uh, uh, nonfiction and poetry, but a plotter for fiction, especially if it's a novel or something close to novel length. Yeah, it, I, I give you credit for writing poetry. I can't write poetry if my life depended on it. Um, and some people think that poets have a better shot at hearing the cadence of words on the page before as a fiction writer, before you go through a critique group and somebody's reading it out loud, because you have a better sense of words, so kudos for that, because it's something I more have to work on. But um, yeah, a plotting keeps you on track. And I probably would never sit down and write, you know, pages. People sometimes people page out like a hundred pages of outline where each chapter is going to go exactly, where each scene is going to go exactly. I don't, I, I don't think I could ever do that. But I do have character goals in mind, internal and external, and I do have the plot in mind and some of the subplots in mind. And so I'll just like pencil them out a little bit. This happens, then this happens, that kind of thing. So, but uh, yeah, plotting does keep you on track, so. Now, as you're a book coach, in addition to being an author, uh, for those of you who uh, might be listening to this podcast for the first time, what is a book coach, and then how do you work with fellow authors as a book coach? Well, a book coach is, you know, quite similar to any other coach. Uh, a coach that helps you with your nutrition, a coach that might help you with your exercise programs, you know, it's helping you find your way through the process because every person has a different goal and every person has a different goal when they write so it's about finding what your goal is and helping you achieve that goal so be some project management work you know you need to get these pages done by this date and then we'll go over them together see what you questions you have see where you might have gone off track compared to, you know, your goals. Um, some people just want help 
plotting the story. They might want to know how do I how do I plot it out because they don't really understand character arcs, or you know, um, inciting incidents or all those little technical terms that we've learned over the years. Um, some people have a completed manuscript and they just want to know how it, how it reads. Is it right? You know, because it's hard to really have confidence in your own work sometimes. So it might just you know read it, but either way, I'll help you see where it went off track. Maybe offer suggestions to fix it. Um, everybody's in a different spot on their journey, so it's kind of you know let's meet and greet and talk and see what your goals are and where you're having problems and what you might need help with. And it it's like a support person, somebody that can bounce ideas off of and say, what do you think of this? What if I take my character here or there? And, you know, and it's, it's a process and it's an individual process for each, each person. So that's kind of what a coach kind of does, helps you give you the tools to move forward on your own as well. So something like that, you know, individual. I want to apologize. There was some kind of vehicle that went down the street uh, uh, while I, by my house while I was uh, while you were answering the final question. But uh, Kathy, I want to thank you for appearing on the Heartland Author Podcast. Okay, cool. Thanks. It was wonderful to interview Kathy, and my next podcast episode will be available to listen to on Friday. This is Aaron Apollo Camp reminding y'all to write your imagination. Bye for now. You can learn more about me and my book writing projects at authoraac.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter at authoraac. You can also watch videos on the Heartland Author channel on YouTube. Copyright 2022, Aaron Apollo Camp, All Rights Reserved. This podcast episode is intended for the private listening of its audience. Any reuse or retransmission of this podcast episode without the express written consent of the podcast host is prohibited except under fair use guidelines. Royalty-free music and sound effects obtained from https colon forward slash forward slash www.zapsplat.com.